So now let's explore the bonus part here. This is our main part and now let's change here. Currently I'm inside the single navigation. Let's talk about the sidebar and layout. So I'm not gonna use sidebar here. And if I scroll down, here you can see single product gallery. Let's select vertical slider. So when I select vertical slider, it looks like this. So it has the vertical slider that it's it looking great, right? And also there is another options first image large. You can also use this feature. But I prefer to use horizontal slider as of now for this tutorial. Now let's talk about enable zoom effect. If if I enable this one here you can see the image is zooming and you can decrease the image width here to 40 percent which looks perfect now or you can reset then you can the value is only acceptable in percentage the single product structure which is category title rating here is the structure basically you can change them and the short descriptions i didn't add any short short descriptions in our product let's add a short description here copy the description go to product it's a long des description this one and scroll down here is the short descriptions update reload the product page here is the short description go to customize and if i click over here there is another option real time add to cart that means it's, it's it will enable the ajax feature you can also change the button width based on your preference i'm not gonna change it but if it, if you change it here let's let's changing the 75 percent reload and see if it's gonna changing or not it's out of stock well uh, the button is not going to change as of now i don't know why maybe it's a bug or something like that but it's not working now I scroll down and here is the meta information you can enable the meta information like sku categories if you want and the extra that's the important part you can change the extra title you can add image instead using icon and you can use any kind of icon as well that's great feature so for an example if you want you can add another item here let's duplicate by duplicating this item you can add more list item here if i duplicate again so as you can see it's working now i'm going to close this one and for the payments you can add a custom payment icon in case if you want to display the paypal and apple pay it's available here but if you are accepting any local currency any a local payment that is not available you can simply go to custom you can add a title you can add icon here or any image here but i'm not gonna use any custom icon here for payment gateway for product structure option it's enable the breadcrumbs it's i, I didn't enable and enable the shipping text basically it's displaying here so you can change the text it's displaying free shipping but if you want you can change it to free shipping to something else or any kind of text and enable the sticky product that's very important i use this one so let me show you reload and scroll down so it's not working i don't know why basically it will sticky product summary so if i hover over it sticks the product summary on top while scrolling but i don't know why it's not working it should work so maybe due to recent update there might be some small glitch or bug here let's change the layout and see yes so this layout works so you have to understand sometimes so that's why I was, I was looking something maybe the layout should have a height bigger height 
and maybe i have to change the layout so it was basically horizontal slider and when i change the layout to first image large it takes a lot of space here right and when it takes a lot of space then it start scrolling and it's sticky here let's understand again if i scroll you can see the product image area are large and when i re reach the end of this area it's not sticky anymore i hope you understand that's great right and now let's scroll down the product navigation we have enabled this one already and change the drop down to button we have changed it here and product vertical layout i'm sorry product variation layout i have added stack so we can add inline but stack is side by side it looks great i'm not gonna use inline and the product descriptions as of now it has default descriptions additional information and reviews it looks like this if you want you can change it to vertical that looks like this or you can change it to accordion so there are plenty of options that you can change i can choose from here and also distributed layout and mostly i use horizontal layout and vertical layout so here you can see some other features related recently and upsell product so you can see the display upsell product display related products and also display recent viewed products if you want to display the recent view products you can simply enable this one and the column is four number of products four and the enable sticky add to cart enable this one here you can see it's it, you can enable this on top you can enable this one at the bottom by default it's displaying top but you can enable this one to the bottom area that looks great now reload our page so if i scroll down here is the sticky add to cart and also if i scroll down more you can see recently viewed products so i have recently viewed those products here And now it looks great so what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna change the recently view products there is no somehow the column is not working it should display four column and number of products should be four but it's displaying three column i don't know why so let's disable the recently view product i'm not gonna display this one and i would like to keep other settings similar so let's talk about the design option now here is we can change the product color category color price color basically it's all about color it's all about color and here you can see all about the typography so you can change the title font you can change category font and price font the price font was little bit bigger and i'm gonna change the price font now if i just take a look at here it's a bold and the font size is currently it's displaying mixed but i have designed myself i know it's 36 pixel not em it should be not here it should be here it looks great now so we have completed everything so that's all from single product page if you have any other comments or question please feel free to ask in the descriptions or in the comments field not the descriptions it's inside the comments field you can ask anything thank you so much